surprise, surprise. Bet y'all weren't expecting to see me here today, huh? Well, that's okay. I wasn't expecting to be here. Um, I just had a little bit of time and I've been trying to um, get back into doing some creative things every now and then. So I thought I would turn the camera on and see what happens. So um, this little book, okay, this, this, this is how this got inspired. This is one of my little journals that I make. Um, I think I still have some on my website, uh, byshannongreen.com. And it's got the suede text covers and just text weight paper uh, pages, 20 pages. And I was inspired to do something by clothing text. That was my inspiration. Because lately I've been buying clothes. This is not something that I do like ever. I usually, you know, like when I'm running through Walmart, I will run through the women's section in the back, you know, where they have the clearance stuff, and I'll just like grab a shirt off of the clearance rack. I'll pay maybe three bucks for it. You know, it lasts a couple years before it starts looking a little ragged. I've got my three dollars worth. <laughs> you know, this this is my classy clothing shopping. <laughs> But with my daughter um, getting married, she was supposed to get married in April in California. Of course, that did not happen. The wedding had to be canceled because of COVID. And so she's rescheduled for next April. But I started buying some clothes and things online so that I would have decent things to wear. I got a wedding outfit. That was cute and all. But I started doing Stitch Fix because I despise shopping for clothes. Um, the only complaint I have is that nothing is three dollars. <laughs> it's like a regular clothing price, which is a little expensive for me. So anyway, I started getting these clothes, and I kept the tags off of a lot of them because they're kind of nice tags. Some of them are really cute, you know. And then I looked, and there's like this th color theme happening. This wasn't even from Stitch Fix. This is from Thread Up, which is that online. Um, kind of thrift store. I got my wedding outfit here, the one that I'm going to wear to Taylor's wedding. Um, anyway, these are some of the tags that have come off of some of the stuff that I got, and then I looked at them, and there's like this whole color theme going on, right? So I thought, oh, I'll just make a little journal to put these in, you know, not for any reason. I don't even know what it's going to be. Is it going to be a journal? It's probably going to be more like a glue book, because I just really lately feel the need to glue stuff to other stuff because I haven't done that in so long. So that's more likely what it'll be. I've been keeping all these in here. So that's why I just got this and then I put some paint on it. I had these three paints. These are Deco Art Vintage Effect Wash paints that I've had for quite a while. It's a color wash paint. And it's almost like a glaze because you put it on and it, it kind of stays wet long enough for you to move it around. So some of them I just moved around with a little spatula thing and then some I just kind of stippled on and rubbed with a paper towel. And then when I got done that day, I just happened to be making my cold brew coffee. So I had these coffee grounds. <laughs> I just kind of poured some on each page and let it sit for a couple of days shook it out and so now it's it's kind of earthy and you know it's got some of the colors of the tags and um that was really just to get rid of the white page because you know I, that just kind of paralyzes me sometimes starting with completely white pages and trying to figure out what to do that doesn't mean that i'm going to keep this color scheme on every single page and everything i do you know, because there's always gesso, am I right? But at least I've got something on there to start with if I need it. And I've got extra puffy grounds. Okay, there we go. Um, I've also gone through my image files to see if there's any images I want to glue down. This is very much, this is kind of a loosey-goosey journaling by fives because I just don't have a plan. I'm not going to work page by page and create this page and then create this page and then go to this page. No, I'm just going to find stuff I like and stick it down and then move on and see what happens. So it's very journaling by fives inspired, although definitely not actual journaling by fives. Okay, 
So, yeah, went through my image files, um, pulled stuff out, mostly in kind of, you know, the colors that I thought I might use. Um, but then I kind of veered off of that a little bit. These are things that I've cut out of magazines. And I think what I want to do first, I've got this, this tissue paper that came with thread up, my thread up order that um, I want to use on here. I don't know in what capacity. Do I want to just like cover the whole thing? No. Nope. Okay, I'm going to glue this on with whatever this is. I, I didn't label it and, you know, I haven't really touched my art stuff in, well, I don't know, a year. So I don't know exactly what this is, but it is probably a mixture of Mod Podge, um, white glue, like Elmer's glue oil, and some water. That is most likely what it is. Doesn't really matter. Um, I just want something to stick on here. Yeah, let's do that. And is this the front or is this the front? It doesn't really matter, but once I start gluing, I'm committed. Okay, doesn't matter. I'll just go with this. And I have one of these Teflon sheets I can use. this like you know he would miss an amputated limb <laughs> it's that kind of missing it <laughs> like a little piece of you is gone Ugh. do y'all remember this this is uh, something I did a video on a few years ago. It was a Birds and Blooms magazine that I sort of deconstructed. I did some reverse collage on some of the pages, you know, just kind of painted out the background and kept the um, focal image up front, kind of isolated it. And then I put the magazine back together. So, uh-huh, yeah, I just kind of took a magazine and made a, a magazine out of it. <laughs> Don't judge. This was very fun. I enjoyed this a lot. Anyway, um, earlier this year, the editor of Birds and Blooms magazine came across that video and she sent me an email and asked if I'd be interested in sending her maybe some still photos from the magazine so that she could put a little blurb in an upcoming issue. They have like every summer they do their hummingbird issue. So I said sure, send her some pictures and then sure enough and this is the uh, June-July issue of Birds and Blooms. They, um, it's the annual hummingbird deal. She mentioned me right here. There's a picture of the one that I did and um, she talked about what I did and put my YouTube channel on there. So I thought that was very cool. I'm like, I'm in a national magazine. <laughs> That's so awesome. <laughs> so there's that. Um, okay, my book. Here's where I am. I glued down the tissue paper and then I just got a couple more things and started gluing. I, pulled out some book pages from an old book and some printed art paper that I had and then I just went through and randomly stuck them here and there on pages just so that every page has a little something glued on it and now I think what I want to do is stencil a little bit I pulled some paint black and white um, just cuz and then this sort of orange now this very orange and this is teal mint 
and Desert Turquoise. These are all from Deco Art. It's just kind of a bluish, a kind of greenish, and a very much orange. And um, yeah, that's that's what what I'm gonna use. I pulled out some stencil brushes that have sort of color families. They're stained with color families, kinda. And let's do. Uh, well, I just automatically grabbed the orange, so. Maybe that's what it needs to be, is orange. Wow, that's orange. Do I really want that bright of an orange? Let's find out. And I might do on these, like, you know, the whole stenciled image. I might do little parts of it to just put a little pop a pattern here and there. Oh, that's very nice. The orange works. Okay, that's good. So that was fun. I just went through and uh, did some stenciling. Not on every single page, but just here and there. Changed up my colors a couple times. And just added some pattern. And I think I'm going to add some more pattern. Because I think I want to use my rubber stamps too. This is an awesome one. Let's put it in maybe some tangerine. This is color box chalk pads. I don't know if these are still a thing anymore. Um, but I have them, so they're my thing. Good. Now I've got some kind of a stamp image or a stenciled image on each page. Now these, I think I'll just hold on to these. Set those aside for a moment while I think about this and how I can make this fit in here, or if I even want to. Maybe I just want that. I don't drink, really, but I can appreciate the design. So what I can do is cut out some of the elements and then just move them over. Okay, I'm gonna do some fussy cutting, and it is not my favorite thing to do at all. So I'm not going to make you watch me. Okay, so here's how I've deconstructed this advertisement. You know, it was like so. And so I just cut some of the decorations off, cut off the top, cut that out, this and this, and this. And what I can do, I want it on the inside of my back cover back here I can take this part snip that right there glue that down there glue that down there so see I've made it skinnier but I can still put this over it to cover up that middle hole. I can put these back where they go. I guess I could have left them, huh? But I wasn't quite sure what I was doing, where I was going, so that's okay. We got those. I'm going to take this off. And there we have our deconstructed advertisement. <laughs> I love that. Gosh, I could just sit and do that for hours. I haven't even used any of my clothing tags, which was the whole <laughs> the 
purpose of this book, right? <laughs> Isn't that weird how things just kind of evolve and take on a life of their own? Yeah, well, I think I'll go through and see if there are any that I want to add now. I'm sure some of these I'm going to, you know, use as tags or tabs or something. This was a little, uh, this came with thread up, my thread up order. And it's a little booklet. Oh, I need to do stuff in this book. Maybe this is where I'll put, we'll just mix thread up and stitch fix. I could make a whole little thing like that. Just cause, right? Uh -huh. Okay, I am going to think some more on this, but for now, I think I'm going to end my video here, and then I will pick up and work on this some more. It may be like next weekend before I even have time to do it, but as soon as I get a few minutes to sit down and do some more, I'm going to. I'm definitely going to do this at some point. And I'm definitely going to make some pockets to put the tags in. Maybe I'll make a little pocket to stick this book in. I could make pockets out of some of the tags. Yeah, I've got all kinds of options. I just need to, I just need to do them. So, anyway, that's, that's it for now. Um... It was good to, to sit here for a few minutes with y'all. I hope you enjoyed it, and we will do some more next time. The end.